So you watched our video on authentication of your domain and want to know specifically, how do you do this with Cloudflare? Not to worry, I've broken it down into an easy step-by-step -step process for you. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step will be to log into your MailerLite dashboard. Once you're there on the left side of your toolbar, go ahead and click account settings. From here, let's go ahead and click on the domains tab and add domain. Here you will enter in the email address you wish to use to send emails from and go ahead and click save. You can verify your email address with the confirmation email we send you or immediately authenticate your domain to automatically verify your email. From here, you can go ahead and click authenticate and a new pop-up will show you all the name and value fields for your DKIM and SPF records. You'll want to keep this page open as we will essentially be copying and pasting this information into our Cloudflare account. From here, the next step will be to open up your Cloudflare account in a new tab. And once you are logged in, you can then go ahead and select a domain you want to set up. From here, you can go ahead and click on DNS on the left toolbar. And then we're going to go ahead and click add record. In the type drop down menu, we're going to select CNAME. And from here, we're going to jump back to our account on MailerLite. And we're going to actually copy the name field here and jump back to the Cloudflare website. And we're going to paste this information in the name. Keep in mind, you will need to delete the URL here as well as the period as Cloudflare will automatically add this for you. Now we'll go back to our MailerLite account settings and we're going to copy the value, go back to our Cloudflare account and paste that in the target here. We're going to turn our proxy status off so that it is DNS only and the TTL we will leave at default of auto. From here, all you have to do is click on save and now we will add our SPF record. Do keep in mind, you cannot have two SPF records. So if you already have one set up, you will actually need to merge them. You can find more info about this in the description below. So let's go back to our account settings in MailerLite. And for this one, we are going to skip the name. However, we will copy the value. Now let's go back to our Cloudflare account. And once again, we're going to add another record. In the type drop down menu, we're now going to select txt and in the name we're going to simply add the at symbol as cloudflare will go ahead and automatically add the rest our ttl once again we can keep at auto default and in the content field we're going to paste the value now from here all you need to do is click on save and now we can head back to our account settings in mail light and go ahead and click on dns records and now, as you can see, it has been authenticated. Keep in mind, it could take up to 24 hours for the new records to take effect. To verify if they've worked, head back to your MailerLite account settings, go to the Domains tab, and click Authenticate on your domain. Then click on the green Check DNS Records button to make sure that the records match. If they do, they'll be approved and your domain will be authenticated. If not, you'll want to reach out to support from your domain provider to troubleshoot. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.